2018 to 2019 has been coined the year of the women for FSU athletics. But what about those early years? To celebrate this 50th anniversary, FSU has invited a number of women's athletic leaders, including Cecile Renaud, Barbara Jo Palmer, Dr. Billy Jones, Terry Mall, and Joanne Graff to tell what it was like before Title IX. One of the things that I've noticed over the years is women's athletics produces leaders. And they remember those leaders, the ones who made them laugh. So, you know, I talked to my mother who was very competitive and she said, do whatever it takes. And I went, okay, so I'll get the tattoo if we win. The so ones we, who made them proud. Wasn't anywhere near enough money to do that. So we put everybody in a 15 passenger van, all their luggage, and we drove to Providence, Rhode Island. They got fourth in the 200 freestyle relay at National, swam faster than they had all season long, which taught me something for the rest of my coaching career. You can do it if you want to. You, it doesn't have to be a perfect situation for you to be able to perform. And the ones who were the very first. They don't know what tough was. <laughs> <laughs> they have no idea. They should have started early on at the beginning when there was absolutely nothing when everybody had to furnish their own attire, their own equipment, when there was no money whatsoever. But thanks to the hard work and perseverance of women's athletic director, Barbara Jo Palmer and others, the women's budget was raised to over $1 million in just her first five years on the job. One of the things that's a matter of fact, you're never gonna be the smartest person in the room, but you can be the hardest worker. That's a choice. And if you do that and you have a good attitude in life and you treat people right, you're gonna be successful. And those are the things I think you learn through sports. And their commitment not only resulted in countless victories, but lifelong friendships as well. I'm Marianne Montague for Seminole Sports Magazine.